What's up, riders? How you doing? This is Paul with the Ride Home Review, and this week I viewed Creed 2, or I went and saw Creed 2, which stars, uh, of course, Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson, uh, Sylvester Stallone, Wood Harris, Felicia Rashad, and uh, <clears throat> directed by Stephen Capel Jr. But before I get into that, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram for all the other reviews that I do. So there you have it. Let's get right into it. The story uh, is basically the continuation of Creed, uh, following Adonis Creed, uh, the son of Apollo Creed, um, as he journeys in journeys through uh, uh, to become champion, and then of course uh, an old foe, quote unquote, uh, pops up from, uh, and it's. Uh, the son of the guy, uh, Victor Drago, who is the son of Ivan Drago, who ended up beating uh, Adonis Creed's dad to death uh, in the ring. And so he's being challenged by the son, Victor. Um, and so if you haven't seen uh, Rocky IV, that's what the reference is to. Um, what I liked about this film, of course, I really liked the characters that were developed in Creed. Um, I liked the, you know, uh, Bianca, and played by Tessa Thompson, and Adonis Creed by Michael B. Jordan. I really enjoyed the fact that we're back in the, the Rocky verse, I guess is the way that you could, you could play it. Um, and uh, the boxing scenes were extremely well edited the sound design um and sound effects were spectacular um and so the editing was really good in this film and it really showed <clears throat> um <clears throat> and like i said of course you got the characters of rocky and then adonis creed and um and uh, the references to to uh, and then dolph lundgren uh came back to reprise his role as I ivan drago <clears throat> Um, and, uh, and of course the boxing scenes. Um, what I didn't care for was, this is pretty, it was, uh, this was a pretty safe movie. There really wasn't much in the terms of plot twists. Uh, um, no big surprises. This was a pretty predictable, uh, film from beginning to end. Um, nothing out of the ordinary or strange or anything like that. You just enjoyed the characters as they were. So, um, so it was, it was okay in that regard. Um, you really knew what was going to happen and they really, uh, didn't try to hide it at all. It was a safe movie, um, for Michael B. Jordan, a uh, safe movie for everybody because, uh, these characters are endearing and it wasn't terribly awful. And so there you have it, but it wasn't terribly awesome. Not like the first one, um, either, which really put a twist on, on the, these folks. And, um, so, so yeah, that's a little bit of a letdown, but like I said, they just played it safe. Oh, uh, and that's what it felt like. There was no real character development from the Drago's part, parts, the son, whatever. It was more or less the dad. And I would have liked to see more scenes between him and Rocky because those were kind of cool. What to watch for? Um, a couple things. Of course, the last boxing scene was always well done, well shot, well choreographed, so on and so forth. But Bianca's music in this and the soundtrack in general, I really enjoyed. So uh, check out Tessa Thompson as she's, she's performing um, a couple of really interesting pieces as her character. Um, so... So that's something that was something new um, out of it, but nothing outstanding. So there you have it. It's an all right movie. If you really are a Rocky fan, it won't disappoint you. Um, uh, you should see it in the theaters, especially for the boxing scenes. Um, the two big ones are really great. Uh, so there you have it. Once again, um, subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and until next week, watch something cool. See you later, everybody.